Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Welcome back to the channel. Great to have everyone back. As I do with all my videos, I want to first start off by saying special thanks to all the viewers and all the subscribers making this channel what it is. Immensely appreciate that. For today's video, I thought I'd do a quick update on the portfolio, then talk about a strategy I've been utilizing with Ford Motor Company, a safe strategy to make 5 to 7% rate of return every year on a blue chip growth stock. Again, Ford Motor Company. Before we do that, let's take a quick look at the portfolio. As you can see here, just over $790,000 at points during today's trading session, getting up over $800,000 here in the morning, pre-market, and then at one point, at least momentarily, getting up to 801, 418 during active hours trading. Definitely pulled back here in later afternoon trading. The goal will be $800,000 by the end of the year. Not quite sure we'll get there, but we'll definitely try. Over the past one week of trading, you can see a very strong rebound, 11.53%. I talked about this on yesterday's video. Over the past one month of trading, however, not a lot of movement upward. Actually down 1,300. Uh, some of the options at the end of the year have not been performing as they did uh, throughout the year. Still a very successful year of options trading. But over the past one month or so, Quite a few positions have been trending down. Three months, you can see that very nice peak up to $858,000. But unfortunately, as I mentioned, a very large pullback here at one point getting down, I think almost $707,000. But fortunately, that has been pulling back here over the past one week of trading at the end of the year. Let's go down. Here are some of the options pending for this Friday, the 31st. Let's go down to Ford Motor Company. If you guys have followed the portfolio, you guys know this is one of the larger holdings in the portfolio. And one of the first stocks in the Robinhood portfolio. As you can see here, portfolio diversity, 27.73%. Market value, 326.89. So one of the largest holdings in the portfolio. Total return, 172.41, 206.384. So this has definitely been one of the better performing stocks over the past one year of trading. You can see 15,700 shares. Average cost, $7.62. Uh, like I said, over this period of time, I was dollar cost averaging down. And then when it did dive down here, I put a, quite a bit of capital into the stock, which for, fortunately has paid off with that very large uh, growth in the stock over the past one year of trading. But let's go ahead and go down to history. There's a couple points I want to make with the strategy. First of all, it relies on the dividend. Ford Motor Company recently had its dividend uh, reinstated. You can see here, de uh, December 1st, 2021, dividend paid on 15,700 shares, 10 cents per share. Uh, total amount for this dividend payment, 1,570. But if we consider this in the form of options contracts, each options contract is 100 shares. So essentially you'd be getting 10 cents per share uh, every three months. So 40 cents per share for 100 shares, $40. So it's $40 per year per options contract, which is 100 shares. So I want you guys to remember that number when we talk about the income from options. Again, a lot of you guys have been wondering why I'm worrying about $1 per options contract with a portfolio of almost $800,000. And to be honest, it's really not the amount of the portfolio. This uh, strategy is really just relying on the rate of return. Anybody can do this. If you guys have portfolios of $1,000, uh, you can potentially do the similar types of strategies for this strategy, you'll need at least $2,000 in the portfolio because you have to trade at least one options contract. Each contract is 100 shares. So for example, if you had a portfolio of $2,500, you can definitely do the same thing I'm doing here. Again, you're not going to make a, a substantial amount of income, but it's really not the income, it's the rate of return. As your income, excuse me, as your portfolio grows, your income will increase. But the key point of this is the percent of return. This is really what you want to focus on, not necessarily the overall amount of money you'll make. As your portfolio grows, you'll make more money uh, with a good rate of return. So $1 per contract, which does not seem like a lot, but if you do this for every week of the year, that's $52 a year. If you add that to the $40 of dividend income, that's $92 per year. So $92 divided into what uh, one contract would be, 100 shares of Ford. So Ford is, let's just make this easy, $20. One contract, 100 shares is $2,000. So if you divide $92 into $2,000, that's a rate of return of 4.6%. Uh, 
So at the minimum, with a very conservative strategy, you make 4.6%. If you wanted to do a little bit uh, riskier options trades, you could double that $52 to $104. So now you're looking at $144 per year for each contract with the uh, added in dividend income as well. So now you're looking at 7.2%, uh, $144 into $2,000 is 7.2%. So 7.2% is a very good rate of return over the longer term. So if you have $2,000 in the portfolio, you can buy 100 shares of Ford and then sell off covered calls. You receive the dividend, you get the uh, income on covered calls added to that, and you'll make 7.2% rate of return. Hope you guys can follow all of that. Went through that pretty quickly, but essentially it's dividend income plus premium income of $144 divided into the price of the stock, market value of the stock for 100 shares. Again, rounding to $20, that's $2,000. So 144 into $2,000 is 7.2%. If you want to be super safe with your options premium, $92 divided into 2,000 is 4.6%. So that's what I've been doing with a lot of the portfolio, Ford Motor Company included. So if you guys see a lot of those contracts where I'm not making quite a bit of money, Boeing is another example. Uh, Ford Motor Company like we just went through. It's not really about how much money I'm making per individual contract. It's more about the rate of return for the entire year. That's really what I'm focused on. So if you can do a nice strategy, a safe strategy for 7% just on dividends and premium, any capital appreciation, for example, this 5.6% over the past one week of trading is not even configured into that. So that 4.6 or 7.2% could turn into 20%, for example, just because of the growth in the price of the stock. Again, Ford Motor Company, I consider a blue chip stock, a dividend stock. It's not going to be a growth stock long term. Yes, it's definitely been doing well over the past one year of trading. But even if Ford Motor Company doesn't move at all upward over the next one, two, three years, you're still going to be making 4.6 to 7.2% rate of return on this stock. So just wanted to quickly go through that strategy again, responding to a few viewers on the channel wondering why I am worrying about a dollar per contract with Ford Motor Company. Boeing is another example of that same strategy. Uh, and that is why. It's simply the rate of return over the longer term and a very safe method. If the price of the stock does go up, that's bonus income for the portfolio. And if it stays where it's at, I'm still going to make at the minimum with this strategy with Ford, 4.6 to 7.2%, no matter what the price of the stock does. Yes, the price of the stock could trend down, but I think there is a bull case to be made for Ford moving over in the next one to two years, especially with its new EV strategy. It's very clear now to investors. Investors have definitely been jumping on board. There's been a rotation into Ford stock. So I don't think that's going to, to diminish unless there is uh, faulty execution in that strategy. They had some issues with some of the product launches recently, Explore being one of those. So if any of that happens, yes, there could be some negative pressure on the price of the stock. But I think moving forward, there's a very clear EV strategy now. I think Ford is very strong with its growth. It has its very successful F-150 truck business. If they can make that successful transition from the uh, ICE to the EV Ford One F-150, the Lightning, I think it's going to be a very, very profitable and very strong EV com uh, competitor moving forward. So just wanted to quickly talk about Ford Motor Company here. With that, I'll end this video. Again, if you guys enjoy the video series, if you guys enjoy the content on YouTube, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Until next video, we'll see you then.